Welcome everybody, the Pro Spartan Gamer here on PES 2016 and most commonly asked question in my comments on my videos is how did I make the SP Spartans or how did I create a team? So I have come on a different profile on my PlayStation 4 and I'm going to walk you right through the process. You will also need a USB drive and a PC as well if you want to make your own logo and put that in game and obviously if you've luckily enough to have someone who's made some kits for you as we do have import images on 2016 in pairs which we didn't have last year there are ways around it if you don't have that facility so don't panic this video could still be of some use to you first and foremost on your PC for importing a logo and that you need to make a file as you can see on the screen in front of you and the file needs to be called WEPES in capital letters as seen on the screen in front. Then if you've already made a logo or downloaded one off Google of your favourite team or whatever you want to badge for your team then obviously as you can see I have the Spartans badge here in front of you and also the kits that Jordan from Pez World thankfully made me as I'm a member of Pez World so obviously I'm in the know with that so I'm lucky enough to have someone to make the kits for me on Photoshop. I made the logo myself the Spartans it's quite simple you can either use Photoshop if you've got that or a free program that always served me well before I got Photoshop was paint.net which is readily available um, for nothing off the internet and it's quite simple to just get a logo and resize it in there logo sizes do vary you can use 256 pixels if you want by 256 pixels um, mine is 128 by 128 so either of those sizes are perfectly compatible in game um, so just resize resize something you've got off the internet to one of those and you should be fine and then drag them all over into a USB drive stick um, with obviously a file called WEPS so drag them into that file on your USB and then stick the USB in the front of your PlayStation 4 and you should be up with me now hopefully if not then pause the video until you are we are then going to go into extras at the top of the PES screen and we are going to go into edit mode now this um, is totally virgin i've not been in this edit mode on this profile so this is exactly how your game should be to hopefully walk you through it so from edit mode we're going to go into teams and i am looking for the peu league which is a fake league in europe because i want my spartans to play in the master league in england which is in europe so if you want to play you're in a master league um, in fake on a fake you know in Europe in any of the European leagues you need to go to the fake Europa League which is the PEU league if you want to play in Latin America with the Chiles the Argentinas the Brazils etc you need to probably look at putting your fake team in the PLA league which is Latin America if you want to play in Asia then you need to go to the PAS league but I'm playing in Europe so I am looking for a team in the PEU league and the team I am going to take over is Pez United you can choose any of these fake teams there's obviously however many there is but I always go over Pez United so I click on Pez United and then here it is team name click on it do 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 it's going to be the SP Spartans in capital. Quickly put that in game. Can't believe it's not coming up. The amount of times I've typed this in before. Obviously because I'm on a new username. I doesn't remember it. SP Spartans. There it is. Team name. Shorthand. SPS. Whatever yours is going to be. I don't know. If your team name is something like, I don't know, Double Danger Fuckface or Big Tits United or 
whatever you want to call it, Dickheads FC, then obviously your shorter name for Dickheads FC might be DFC, I don't know, or it might be DIC, Dick, I don't know what you're going to go for, but we, we are obviously Spartans and it's SPS, so we've done that. We're not having commentary on, there won't be Spartans, I don't think. Obviously, if you want to go for commentary, you click in there and you go to whatever city you're going to find. There's obviously not a city, but maybe your fake name is in United. Your fake team come from, I don't know, Bracknell. Perhaps you're going to make the Bracknell Bitches or something as a team. So therefore, Bracknell would be fine. And Jim Beglin and that would say Bracknell on the attack here and stuff like that. So maybe that floats your boat. It doesn't mind. I don't do it. So there you are, you've got your team name in game, when you come back to the team info page, you'll see there you've got the team name Spartans listed there. Um, we'll forget Strip and Emblem for a minute, we'll obviously go to manager page, we don't want Heinz, the German, as our manager, we're going to put in Pro Spartan. which obviously is my AKA name. My real name is Owen, but for points of this video, it will be Pro Spartan. And I am from good old blighty England. So England goes in there. Create a manager photo. I've not got a photo, so I'm just going to create an image. Face build, I always go to preset. I don't want to take too long on stuff like this. So I will go to preset. And I don't know which one doesn't look too bad. Let's go for the Joker there. He looks a bit of a all right sort of guy. Blue eyes. I got blue eyes. I do go that far. Put in the blue eyes. The girl's like a bit of a blue eye now and then. Um, facial hair. Yeah. Let's get some real. I don't want ginger beaver. So facial hair will be darker than that. We're no ginger beaves here. I'm going to go for the fullest beard we can get, which is obviously seven. Nice bit of beard. And the hairstyle, we'd just go for anything. We're not really fussed about what the hairstyle is going to be. Normal, shortish, a um, bit of a quiff at the front. And on this year's game, which I quite like, you can have a couple lines on the side. So we go for that, a couple tram lines. You look a bit of a dude then, a little bit more than a boring bastard sort of cut. So that's that's it. And then the facial expression, which is always a good one. Got some ordinary ones there. You got the sort of, I'm looking cool. You got that one, I just let out a fart in my pants. That one there, don't know what that is. You got this one. Don't know what that one is, just seen a good looking woman. Then you got the cum shot. Oh, yeah. That one there. Yeah, we're winning 2 0. That one there, we're losing 2 0. That one there, oh shit. Someone's just shoved a pole up my ass. And that one there, ha ha ha. You lost your bitch. So I'm going to go for the old cum shot. And then you're in. So manager's done pretty quickly. Obviously, you might want to import a manager. Say, you know, you could import any of these. Gary Monk, if you wanted to be any of these. You know, I'm sure none of you really want to be Tony Pulis or anyone. So you just take over a slot on there. Manager's photo, and there you are. You're in-game. And you get some points for your My Club. Home ground is the next one. You select a ground, which you think... You're going to take over. I quite like the Rose Park Stadium to begin with. And when we get bigger and better, we're upgrade. I just always call it Spartan Park. You can call your ground whatever you want. Obviously, if you're going to be the Bracknell Bitches, as we said earlier, then perhaps your home ground would be called something like Bitch Haven or Bitch Park or You Bitchins or something. I don't know. Detailed settings, there's not a lot you can do here, but obviously if you want a cut of the grass, the circles or whatever you can change, there's a few settings there. Sideline, we always turn blue. I would like a few more colours here, Konami, please. There's not enough colours here. There's no black, there's no white. Seat colours, blue. Goal netting, we always like to muck about with that and have something a little bit flashy. or have the checkerboard. And then that's your stadium setup. Rival clubs, 
we have got a couple near us so we, we will put them in obviously this hasn't been done east dorset will be bournemouth so we'd whack them in and we'd also whack in in the second division safe west reds who's bristol city that's not too far away from us either so once they're all edited in as proper they will change to bournemouth and bristol city banners i'll show you making one banner so if you were going to do the bracknell bitches or whatever then you might have one i don't know something like bitches on heat or something when you're playing well i don't know what you'd have but they are bitches on heat they are something like that and that banner will show up in game you get four of them so you could do whatever you like with them use your imagination right now onto the serious business then first before we get onto that i'll come out of that i just jumped ahead of myself a little bit we need to go into data management and import the images so it will say about your flash drive really you should do this before you do the other but it doesn't matter it makes no difference you see this here and it tells you a little bit about it team emblems so you're looking for team emblems on you select your usb which is in my case is a sand disc cruiser facet and then you put i want to select selected images not all of them so then you're looking for your image i've got some bundesliga stuff on here apologies for that and there we and there you find your spartans select it we only want to put the spartans in it's circle to go back and then okay so the one, the Spartans one is now in, in game. Same principle for your kits. So you go to strip. You come down, you only want certain images. I got a lot on there. I should have taken them off and just had the ones that were relevant for this video. Apologies for that, but you'll get the gist, I'm sure. So you're looking for your ones that are relevant for your Spartans kits and there they are circle again okay and that will put those five kits in game you've got about 230 kits you can import so quite a few but when you come to doing if you're doing them and you've got kits if you've downloaded them off off pez world um, which is the best place to get them obviously then there'll probably only be free kits for premier league and stuff so we don't take up too much kits you don't need to save there you can come out of that you then go back into teams and you find where you've started the Spartans. The moment the badge hasn't been changed, but it's going to change now. So emblem, all owed, and you then locate what you've already put in and you locate the Spartans. There it is. And you then have the Spartans in game. And it will change. The emblem will change at the top. You can see it's next to SB Spartans. And then for the strip. Now this is where we say you've got a choice. Okay. You can either do it old school. If you don't know someone who's making a kit for you. And you can go in. And you can change the shirt etc. Like we showed you last year. With all of these different designs. And changing it etc. You've got the logo on, on there anyway. So it's not going to look horrendous. If you want to change it you know. You can go in here and you can change the styles and everything like we showed you last year. There's no problem with that. One thing I would suggest if you're going to paste an image um, from a kit maker. If your home colour is blue, then I would just go into that first one there and select a default blue. And I get rid of all the rest of the layers by de deleting them. Blue is your base colour. If your your blue and white is your main colour like the Spartans is. I would then come down to number 70. And I would just make that white. Don't worry about what it looks like. It's just so then the people in the stadium will come in blue and white. If it's defaulted on yellow or blue or, or red or something. They might come in red. It's just the game's physics way of showing it. So I would make sure you just change those to your home colours on all your strip before you paste an image. So that the crowd look right in game. And then we're going to paste an image. Because Jordan's made us the kits. And the home kit is that one. And then it will appear. Bing. Like magic. 
and there we have the Spartans home kit in game so it's pretty simple pretty easy to do same for the second kit obviously it's white as default that's fine we're happy with that um, although it's yellow it doesn't matter we're just going to paste it over in game because points of this is just to do it nice and quickly for use and then to add the third kit down the bottom of the screen you'll see add so press add third kit again it'll be white by default because it's you know it is the third kit and our third kit luckily enough is white anyway so we're going to paste that in game and there it is won't show you the fourth kit it doesn't matter you know how to do that now the goalie kit we're just going to paste the image over the top just to show you quickly it's black anyway we now have all our spartan kits in game you need, might want to muck around with the markings and everything to get the right markings for you i take the short the short number off because i don't think it looks quite right with a puma and everything else i think it looks better off like that and obviously if it comes out you know you want to change out the white so you can see it then it's straightforward just like i'm doing there straightforward to do it okay so that's simple enough for you guys to follow to put them in game you now have your spartans in game and the team info sheet is finished and there they are right now you need to set up the leagues so it works out right so you need to go into competition structure now in europe so you've got Premier League, Serie A, which you can change the names for all of them. I'm not going to show you all that. La Liga, League One France, Eredivisie, Portuguese League, which you know you can change. PEU League. We've we've appeared in here with 20 other teams now. Okay, so that's where we are with 20 other teams. Okay, I'm going to show you now what you need to do. You need to go to, in a game, competition structure, sorry, PEU League, there. Europe. You need to go into competitions, PEU League down here, click on it. That's where you change your emblem if you want to make this the Bundesliga. And you obviously change the name in there and write in Bundesliga, which I've done on my other game. And I've put in the Bundesliga emblem there. Exactly the same as we've just put in the Spartans thing. So that's how you make the Bundesliga. In detailed settings, you want to, if you, you are making this the Bundesliga, you want to make this 18 teams. And this is important now um, for getting your made up team out of the, that league and into the other Europeans, you need to make it 18. All right. So make that 18 and I'll show you for why. So you've made that into 18. You then come out into competition structure, Europe. And now the PEU league, you're still in it. Don't worry, but there's only 18 teams. Okay. Now you click on yourself, so it's highlighted like that, you can see it's shaded, and you go to other European teams, which are there. In here you will see you've got the free license German teams, okay? So you click on Bayern Munich, and your Spartans appear in the other European team. And if you want to get rid of Wolfsburg as well, into the PU league and change it with a fake team you can do and if you want to change it to the final fake team and put Borussia Mönchengladbach back in there then you can so Spartans are in here with the other European teams free uh, some other fake teams as well that you've just transferred that you could make into perhaps Celtic if you wanted to or if you want to have more than one fake team then obviously you do exactly the same as we've done with the Spartans and you call these other two fake teams something else. Then the PEU League you can make into the Bundesliga and you can import all the logos for the rest of the Bundesliga teams in here and eventually you can put the kits in. Okay I'll show you what that looks like on the finished game in a sec. Don't forget as always 
you go into data manager and then you save what you've done i always do it it does sometimes save if you come out automatically but i always make sure it's saved there so your edit data is saved and it's in game and you will now have your team set up totally in the right place where you want them to start playing so here we are back on my own copy now just to show you what it should look like when you've finished so i've imported the barclays premier league and i have all their teams and logos in game there you see badges and all in game all from pez world skybet championship i've changed all the names and i've got all their logos in game as well and like I said, I've changed the Bundesliga, which was the PEU League. They are now called the Bundesliga. And all their emblems are in-game, and I've changed all the names to them. Other European teams, this is where your Spartans are going to appear. And there they are, in-game, like I said, with the badge and everything else. So they're in every European League. We've got the Bundesliga set up. All we need to do is put in their kits. Obviously, you're not going to have the right players unless you're going to go through all the hassle of doing all that. We've also changed the Portuguese league name now to what it should be. And we have Serie A and Serie B with the correct logos as well in game. That's what you can achieve on this year's game with a little bit of hard work and printing the names in and getting logos from Pez World and that. You can easily do it. But the main purpose of this video was to show you how to make your own team and put them in the right place to get the best out of PES 2016. Hopefully that's helped you. Any queries, put comments in the video and I will do my best to answer them. Cheers dudes, stay safe.